aren't we just so glad that he is who he is? Um, Brother Levi asked me to say something if I wanted to. And I went back and I ate breakfast with Nana Vicki. And I sat there and I didn't know what to say. And I got the Bible out, out on my phone. And forgive me, I'm old fashioned. I can't do it. I had to find a real one. Um, and it hit me when I was flipping through the Bible that I had a scripture and I've had it for a while. And um, if you don't know, we're in the process of selling our house. We're finally under contract for the third time. And um, it's been an experience. I uh, fasted and I have fasted and I have fasted and I am seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, which is Friday. And while I was fasting and praying, God repeatedly reminded me of his faithfulness. And I can only say how amazing that was. Um, every time I would open my Bible and feel the church, I would get a scripture on his faithfulness. And I mean, I would open it up and in the middle of the page, it would say, God is faithful. And, and I knew that God was faithful. But he led me to Hebrews 10, verse 23, and it says, Let us hold fast to the profession of our faith without wavering. For he is faithful that promised. And at the beginning of our process, he gave me that promise. He said, Holly, if you would follow what your husband told you that he wanted to do, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to be faithful. I've given him a promise, submit to the leader of your household. Because let me be honest, it's scary to uh, sell your home. And uh, especially when you have children in the mix and you're moving and, and you have the kids to worry about. But he's so faithful. And I'm going to say that everybody that walked into my home to see it, saw an open Bible on our mantle and it was open to Hebrews 10 23 and every time I went over I prayed over the house y'all there has been inspection after inspection um, and th weird things would pop up things that you wouldn't even imagine the first inspection they told me we had termites and I went over there and I, at first I was very discouraged I was very upset that there were termites eating my wood home uh, my wood floors and I I freaked out and God told me he said be still be still and do what you know how to do and let me be faithful and do what I know how to do and so I went over there with oil and uh, I still have oil in my car and I touched every floor and I prayed and I couldn't even bring myself to pray for God to kill those termites I prayed for him to just move them to a tree somewhere on somebody else's property um, and I prayed and I prayed and I went over and I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I anointed with oil and we had an exterminator come in because I mean you know my walls are wood my floors are wood my whole house is wood and they're gonna eat it and so we had the exterminator come in and he um, he looked at it and he said there's no termites here and uh, my realtor I told her how much I love God on our first visit and I told her I said I believe that if you stand on God's promise he will come through and uh, she said, okay, well, you know, and she just kept on talking. And I said, no. I said, if you stand on God's promise, he will come through. And so throughout all of this, she said, well, I just think those people are crazy. Um, I think they didn't see any termites. And I said, no, I believe that they were there. I believe that God moved them because he is faithful. And so I was under the house last week. Um, if you were here, you noticed I was kind of stiff. I was sore. 
because I helped Chris put a moisture barrier under the house. And let me just say, Chris is a big guy and he couldn't fit under there. So I did most of the crawling, most of putting it under there. And uh, it's an experience that I don't want to have again. But um, I did it and I remember I was taking a break under there while he went to go get some more plastic. And I looked up at, the, I was on my back and I looked up at the, the floor joist. And I was like, man, these all look brand new. And I can't see where any termites have been in here. And I was like, man, they must have been crazy. And I went back to, you know, I just kind of went backwards a little bit. And I said, you know, maybe Miss Winnae is, is right. Maybe they were just crazy. And I climbed out from under the house and a couple hours later, it hit me that God is faithful. And he reminded me, Kylie, what did you pray for? You prayed for God, for me to remove the termites. And he said, you, you prayed for me to restore the wood. And I did. And so it has been a crazy few months and we've had ups and downs and it's been insane but i was reminded this morning to hold fast to hold on to my faith without wavering don't go back and forth because it might not look like you want it to look but it looks how god wants it to look and if it looks like how god wants it to look we, we shouldn't have to worry about it don't worry about it if you're sick, don't worry about it. He's faithful that promised. He's healed us already. Don't let Satan take your joy. Don't let him second make you second guess what God's promised you. Because I'm telling you, I wanted to sell my house within a month. And it's been, what, three almost three and we were under contract two other times and I can't they kept just some weird and I was like God I don't understand and he said you don't understand I have a plan because there's somebody that's supposed to be in your house but you have to wait on them because they're not ready for it and I was like oh okay so one thing that I can say that I've learned in the past three months is that it might not look how you want it to look but it's how God wants it to look and just stand and know that he's faithful and that he's going to come through no matter what he'll be there if I could have the ushers come down I do have one announcement November the 4th is the trunk or treat and there are signups for chili or trunks and all of that good stuff in the foyer and I believe that's from 7 to 8 that night. We also have some prayer requests. Scott Roberts, which is Bradley's dad, he's in the hospital. Uh, Landon Hagwood, Sister Deborah Armand, and if you had an unspoken, you would uplift your hand. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for standing there. And it might not look like we want it to look, but standing there anyway and being faithful. Lord, we praise you for your goodness and your mercy. We praise you for being in this place this morning. I praise you for how you're going to speak to these people in the message. Lord, we ask that you be with each and every prayer request. Heal those who need healing. Uplift those that need it. Lord, I pray for every unspoken request. For you know, you know what it is. We don't have to. You've already taken care of it. Lord, be with the offering. Help us to take it and use it for the glory of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen.